Well, let's look at this one. And right here we can see that A is 3. Sorry, getting back to this, uh, C is 5 on this one. So when we solve for X, once again, we have negative B plus or minus the square root of B squared minus 4 times A times C all over 2A. And from here, we can replace the B values with the B value that we have, which is 6. And we can replace the A values with the A value that we have. And that is 3. And then the C value will replace with 5. So it looks like X is a negative 6 plus or minus the square root of 36 minus 4 times 3 is 12 times 5 is 60 and this is all over 2 times 3 which is 6 so x equals same negative 6 but now I got plus or minus the square root of negative 24 and this is all over 6 well <clears throat> This gives us x equals negative 6. Oh, what the heck? Uh, there we go. Negative 6 plus or minus the square root of negative 24. Let's go and look at that over here, the square root of negative 24. So I know since it's the square root of a negative, I can pull an i out. And 24 can split up into 4 and 6. And uh, the reason why I'm using 4 is because it's a perfect square. So it's i times the square root of 4 times the square root of 6. So i times the square root of 4 is 2 times the square root of 6. So you could say it's 2i square root of 6. And that's what we would put down here is 2i times the square root of 6 all over 6. Now we do have to be careful though with simplifying at this point. So we know the six and the six go into each other, but the two and the six do as well. Um, so as it turns out on the test, there will be a few different ways to write this. I want to say on the homework, I don't know if they'll accept this many ways, but here's the first thing I would be looking to do is I'm going to split this up into two separate fractions. So I'd have negative six over six plus or minus 2i times the square root of 6 over 6, right? Well, the square, uh, I'm sorry, negative 6 over 6 is negative 1. Then I'd have plus or minus 2 divided by 6. That's going to give us 1 third. So I'd have i square root of 6 over 3 now. And this is an acceptable answer. On the other hand, though, they may just say, well, simplify this as far as it will go for both. So in other words, we would look at these and divide them all by 2 instead. Because they're all divisible by 2. So that would give you x equals negative 3 plus or minus i square root of 6 over 3. And uh, I'm, I'm okay with this. It, it shows that you know how to simplify it as well which means you could probably simplify it into this form if you really wanted to. But I'm okay with either one.